home and transfers. In this presentation, we'll talk about how to compute the delta V needed to transfer from one circular or coplanar orbit to another. We'll also derive the delta V equations for a Hohmann transfer. So let's suppose that we have launched a vehicle into a 176 kilometer by 176 kilometer orbit. So here's our launch vehicle. We launch into this orbit uh, and it's a nice circular orbit, 176 kilometers above the surface. And now that we're there, uh, we want to transfer from this low uh, circular orbit into the higher orbit that a space station happens to be in. And let's assume that that is at a 350 kilometer circular orbit. So sometimes we write that as you know 350 by 350 to indicate the uh, the altitude of the low point by the high point, and if it's circular, it's 350 by 350. So uh, how do we get there, and how much delta v do we need? And if we know how much delta v, then later on we can include that. Uh, in the calculations for the propellant mass uh, needed by the rocket. We will use the two impulse transfer conceived by Walter Homan. Homan uh, lived from uh, 1880 to 1945. He's a German engineer. Uh, who contributed to the understanding of orbital mechanics. He uh, published a book in 1925, which he had written originally in 1916, uh, about transferring from one, one circuit orbit to another. And now this is called Holman Transfer in his honor. And uh, in 1960, uh, NASA decided to make a, a, an English translation of uh, Holman's uh, book, which was originally called The Attainability of heavenly bodies, or at least that's the translation from the original German. So let's look at the modeling assumptions for Hohmann transfer. And whenever we try to do anything in engineering, we try to change uh, the, uh, <clears throat> the problem we're dealing with as sort of, a, say, a word description problem or, or a picture uh, into math. And the question is, what's the appropriate mathematics? What's the appropriate math model for the, uh, the real physical problem we're trying to understand? This is uh, in a very important uh, process of being an engineer, is the modeling. And so that means math, math modeling. Turn the problem into math. Turn the story problem into a math problem. So the assumptions have to be listed first. We're going to assume Newtonian gravity, and uh, that means we're thinking that the Earth can be represented as a point mass, and that the gravitational force from the Earth is GMM over R squared. This is the magnitude of the force. And by the way, you know that we've been replacing the GM by mu times little m over R squared. And of course, the r is the distance uh, that we are from the center of the planet. Um, G is Newton's universal gravitational constant. M is the mass of the planet. And uh, G times M is mu, which is the gravitational parameter. The G M always comes together. You can never really accurately measure them independently. So we almost always write mu uh, instead of gm. M, of course, is the mass of the spacecraft. 